So we're going to do a titration of hydrochloric acid with our standard sodium carbonate solution. The sodium carbonate solution is going to be taken up using a pipette into our conical flask, which we'll then use for the titration. So the first thing I've got to do is rinse the pipette. So what I do is put the pipette down into the solution and good idea to have... Right, so I'm going to use the pipette filler. Can you see this orange pipette filler at the top here? I'm going to use the pipette filler to draw up some solution. Um, hopefully you can see. Yes, you can see that solution. And I need to rinse pipette. So I'm basically pretending that I'm coating the inside of the pipette with my solution. I'll just take it over to the sink. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm going to use, use the pipette filler to get 20 millilitres. Now, like the volumetric flask, the pipette has a line. Can you see that line just on my chin? has a brown line that indicates exactly 20 millilitres. So when I fill it to the line by using the pipette bulb, the bulb or the filler, I can take the liquid right up to that line. Now I have to be careful at the end, make sure I end up right on the line. I'm a bit over, so I go down a smidge. Whoop, yeah, this is where the fun begins. There we go, perfect. And I'm going to put that into my conical flask. And I like to take the filler off to empty it because I believe it's faster, but you don't have to. So when you're emptying a pipette, you keep it vertical and then you touch the end to the conical flask to get the last little bit out. These are actually designed to end up with a small amount of solution in the bottom. So I'm going to do the whole thing again, another 20 mils. And sometimes you have to squeeze the bowl halfway through to keep it going. And once again, going up to the line, if I can be very careful, there we go. And empty it again. Right, I need four of these for my titration. I'm hoping I'm going to be super accurate and not need any more than four. We'll see how we go. So there's my second one. Touch it to the side, pipette filler on, again, another 20 mil, up, 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 and that's blown out again. This pipette filler has a decidedly squidgy sound to it. If I wasn't doing a video for you, I would have changed it, but I'm just going to press on. There we go. There's my third one. Oh, goodness, there we go. So there's my third volumetric flask. Not volumetric, conical flask. And then finally, the last one. So 20 ml of sodium carbonate solution. And... Come on. Here we go. Up. Right, perfect. Into the flask. Here we go. Okay, so that's my sodium carbonate solution into the four conical flasks. Now, the next thing I need to do is add indicator to the flasks. So I'm using methyl orange indicator and this has got two colours. Matter of fact, I'll show you the two colours. So I'll do one beaker with hydrochloric acid in it and the other beaker with, so this is the HCl and in the HCl it goes a very lovely orange 
colour, orange pink colour. And in the sodium carbonate, it will go a yellow colour. Mm. Okay, this is what happens when you use too much indicator, the colour gets a bit dark. So acid in this hand, the base in this hand. So I'm wanting to get to the point where the yellow is turning to this red-orange colour. So a halfway point, which we laughingly refer to as a peach colour. So let's add a couple of drops of indicator to each one of these. Okay, so always give it a swirl. This is one of the reasons why we use a conical flask, because you can hold the top and you can swirl and nothing will come out. Okay, so my burette has got the hydrochloric acid solution in it. It's approximately 0.1 molar or mol per decimeter cubed. We actually are trying to find out what the accurate concentration is. So I'm just going to slide it up a little on the burette clamp. Right, I'll put my spares over here and I'll start off with this one. So the I'm going to be recording my results as I go along. I've got a table here. My first volume is naught point, let's check it's still right. No, it must have been dripping. Okay, it is actually naught point four. Naught point four zero. So that's changed since I read it earlier. It's a little bit of a worry. Naught point four zero. Okay, let's get going. So I'm using my right hand to swirl the flask and my left hand is operating the burette tam tap. And you'll see I've got my fingers around the back of the tap and I'm using my fingertips to control it. Now there's a few reasons for this. Number one, if the tap was showing any signs of wanting to slip out, we'd be holding it in place. And also you have really good control with your tip fingertips as long as you practice a bit. Okay, let's add this and see how we go. So we're titrating, we're adding our HCl to our sodium carbonate. We're down to 11 millilitres or 11 centimetres cubed. We're getting close now to 14, 15. Now usually you would be fairly rough with this first one. I'm hoping that I can still be accurate. I'm down to 21. Oh, goodness. Okay, keeping on adding. It's starting to go pink in the middle. <sighs> Let's keep going. Hopefully we'll get there soon. Getting there. Oh, dear. Having to add a lot of HCl to this. Go. This is ridiculous. Nearly. Just about. That's gone, definitely gone off the yellow. It's a little bit orangey. Just going to add a couple more drops. In well, there we go. That's definitely changed colour. It's now much more of an orange. It's not the full pink because we don't necessarily want to get to the pink. We just want to be sure that it's no longer yellow. So I don't know whether you can tell the difference there. I hope you can. So that's our first titration. Now, let's see if we can just, sorry, we're just going to pause. The volume in this burette is, put this behind it, it's 39.30. 39.30.
So what I've done is I've recorded it in my table of results and I've done the subtraction. So I did the final on the top, the initial underneath, and we've got our first value. Okay, I'm going to refill the burette. Okay, we're going to do our next titration and the starting point for this is 0 0.30 centimetres cubed. So I'll write that down, 0 0.30. And now that we know we're expecting quite a large titer, we can work pretty quickly to get to that point. So away we go, adding, adding, swirling as we go, heading down towards almost 40 centimetres cubed, which is a bit surprising, but we can work with that. So we just keep adding, swirling as we go, we're down, coming down close to 20, and we keep going. Swirling, swirling, 24, down to 28. So the numbers on a burette go from small at the top to large. This makes it easy to do your subtraction when the time comes to work out the volume you've added. So you don't need to do anything clever. Now, remember the clever part is to stop I'm starting to get warning because I can see the colour going a bit darker in the middle. But then when I swirl it, the dark colour disappears. So if I keep adding, and I can get to a point where it's actually going drop by drop. If I'm very, very careful, I'm adding drop, drop, drop. Just give that a, so that's still yellow, not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Whoa. Move. Oh, there it goes. Okay, may have overdone that a smidge, but there we are. So there's our peachy colour, and that is, oh, it's not bad, 39.5. One zero. Thirty-nine point one zero. Okay, so as you can see, I'm actually not too upset about that because I'm only 0.1 of a milliliter away from my first value. So happy, quite happy with that. So the starting volume this time is 0 0.21 centimeters cubed. And away I go with my next titration. So a few things just to go back over. I have had to refill this burette for each titration because they're coming out at a rather unusually large volume. I'd normally expect to only add about 20 millilitres of a solution if I'd set my titration up correctly. Now, couple of issues here. I think my sodium carbonate solution is a little bit concentrated and I suspect that the hydrochloric acid is of a rather lower concentration than I expected. So all in all, one too high, one too low and we end up with large titers. If you have titers around 20 millilitres, it means you can get two per burette because burette full, because the burette has a volume of 50 millilitres. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Got to start paying attention. Right, I know I'm at the end because I'm starting to see a pink section in the middle. I wonder if I can show that to you. No, it disappears by the time I move it. But you get this concentrated pink section. So let's just start trying to go dropwise. There it is. Oh, beautiful. There you go. There's a paler version of our pinky colour. That, that's probably what I would be looking for. That's fabulous. Now, the volume is 39.05. Oh, 39 okay, so there's my third value. 39.05 minus 0 0.21 
is 38.84. Now, I am very happy with that because it is in between the 38.9 and 38.8, which means I've got three concordant titers. So I don't have to do any more with this one.